how reliable our frigid air range is. The latest frigid air ranges have trouble getting up to temperature, but the temperature beep tends to go off at 6 minutes anyway. That's definitely going to try my patience. It will drive my kids nuts when the cookies take forever to bake. What is worse is the fact that when it gets to temp, the range cover and knobs get very hot. They could burn their hands as they put their hands on the window. It could burn my hand just trying to open the oven before the cookies burn. Or you could burn your hands trying to turn the oven down. That's definitely a problem. It's definitely something to bring up to customer service. Frigidaire product support is a problem in and of itself. They don't answer the calls on weekends, whether you're living without a stove or refrigerator. One night is reason enough to call out for pizza. More than one night starts to become a hassle. There have been reports that the main control board not properly tripping the beaker. I don't see how that's a problem. The electrical overload could cause a fire behind the range. Okay, that's a problem. This issue led to a recall for their ranges in 2009. It was primarily model FEFBZ90GCA, but might have included others. At least it is not as bad as Whirlpool fridges, I think, whose dome lights got hot enough to melt the interior plastic shell. Some of their fridges got fire too. But at least I know a stove is a fire hazard. Some of the Frigidaire ranges have the opposite problem where the element turns on and off when set to low temperature. So my slow simmer may be room temperature. Problems like that would make me hot under the collar, because it isn't cooking food enough to avoid food poisoning. I'd be hot to trot just because cooking dinner would literally take forever.